In this video, I'm going to show you how I turn my Nikon Z6 camera into a webcam that can be used on web chat like the Skype, Zoom and Webex. What's up everyone, welcome to Gadgets and Toys, my name is Alan. Some time ago, I did a video on how to turn your digital camera like my Nikon Z6 into a live broadcast camera using the software approach without having to spend money on hardware like Elgato CamLink. That approach limits to only live broadcasting and not use as a webcam. After that video, I went into further research on how to use my camera as a webcam that can be used for web check as well. And in doing so, I discovered that the Digicam control actually have a virtual webcam function. But after much trial and testing, I found it extremely complex and difficult difficult to implement. Of course, the engineer in me tries way and means to see how I can solve this technical issue. But shortly after, I realized that if someone as technically inclined as me has such a problem solving the issue of how to implement it, what would it say for layman users? So I scrapped that idea and searched more on what other software can I use to turn my Nikon camera into a webcam. And I came across this software called the Sparkle Cam. At the moment, the list of compatible camera only limits to two brands and that is Nikon and Canon. This approach is not exactly free because you need to purchase a Sparkle Cam software but it works right out of the gate and it's very easy to implement. The price of a Sparkle Cam is comparable to an entry-level webcam but with the flexibility of using most cameras from Nikon and Canon which are far more capable than a regular webcam. Lately, there has been discussion on Facebook how to use your digital camera as a webcam and there was this particular user that argues you should buy a webcam to use as a webcam and not any other camera. But like myself personally, I do not own a webcam and not until recently that people are talking about web chatting because of the lockdown situation. So using existing camera instead of going out to buy a webcam is actually a money saver for us. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I can use one camera for two different feet. I may be able to use my one camera to do web chat and at the same time live broadcasting. And the sample video I'm going to show you is how I use the same camera to do live broadcasting and at the same time web chatting with my friends on Skype. Okay, okay. It won't be the same with you gone really this year. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. All right, take care, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for joining and thanks for watching. Hello, power. Thank you. Happy five Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up the Sparkle Cam camera with my Nikon Z6. It's very straightforward actually, no driver needed. All you need to do is to fire up the Sparkle Cam after installing. Next step, you connect the camera to the computer via the USB as usual. Turn on the camera. Once the connection is made and the Sparkle Cam detects the camera, it will immediately show you the preview. So I'm now going to set it up to work for Skype. Okay, I have my Skype here and I will go into settings, audio and video and that's it. On the top right hand corner, choose Sparkle Cam video and you have the feed right where you want it. Don't worry, it's not being flipped in the real feed. This is just sort of like a mirror image. So what the other will see is actually the image on the left and not the right which is laterally inverted. In the sample video, I went one step ahead how to use my camera for a broadcasting and a web chat at the same time with the same feed. What I use is the OBS Studio. So what I did, I just create a new video capture device, give it a name and choose Sparkle Cam Virtual Camera. I can resize the feed however I want much like the broadcast that I have in my previous video. You can now go ahead and do your broadcast using the camera, but this time not using a workaround like the Digicam control. This is a direct feed from the camera. So there will be no resolution loss. There will be no quality loss this time. So like at the sample video that I did, I used the same camera feed to two different apps, mainly the OBS Studio and the Skype at the same time. In that video, I include the Skype in the feed, but of course not two image of myself. The other feed would be sent to my friend via the live chat. So that's all to it, very simple and straightforward. Just install the Sparkle Cam, connect your camera, turn it on, have it detect, and you can immediately use it as a webcam. And from that single camera feed, I can web chat and broadcast all at the same time. As you can see, there's a lot more features that the Sparkle Cam offers. The downside now is only the limited range of camera that can be used with the software. I hope that they can expand to a wider range of camera in the future to brands like Sony, Panasonic, and even GoPro. And so this is the end of all I have to say today. If you find this video informative or helpful in any way, please click the thumbs up, click on the subscribe button and the bell button for future contents. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.